Over the last four episodes, we've covered food security, recycling, water, and energy reset. But really, it all boils down to reducing our carbon footprint. The Singapore Green Plan 2030 is now an important step towards our future. As the world wakes up to the realities of being eco-friendly, some of us are already well on our way. Join me, Belinda Lee, as I discover how Singapore is going green and how Singaporeans are incorporating eco-practices in the comfort of their homes. This is Green Home. The Singapore Green Plan 2030 has highlighted the importance of sustainable development and reducing our country's carbon footprint. Companies and society at large can definitely do more. So should we as individuals. Today, I have a very special guest. Let's go meet a senior fellow at the Energy Studies Institute, Dr. Victor Nian. Hello, hi, Dr. Victor. Hi, Belinda. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you here. I heard you're an expert in energy policy. Tell me more. So my expertise is in energy policy and energy systems analysis, where I look at technology assessment and the choice of technology pathways where we can achieve decarbonization and sustainability. Set up this unit lab uh, on integrated systems analysis tools, where we really bring different expertise and different uh, thinking to look at what really is the future transition pathways to make the world, the world a better place to live. Why did you choose to meet me here at the Botanic Garden? Well, here I would really like to show you something amazing that combines design and technology to achieve sustainable cooling without damaging the environment. Wow, that sounds very exciting. Right, would you like to have a look? Of course. Let's go. Samcorp Industries is a leading provider of sustainable solutions. Driven by its purpose to do good, they believe that corporations must act as agents of transformation for a sustainable future. And this place, the Samcorp Cool House, is just one of the ways through which they are committed to saving the environment. Hello, hi, hi Belinda. Hi, Belinda. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. This is Dr. Victor. Wow, this place is stunning. Just look around us. This is so beautiful. So tell me more about the Sam Cup Cool House because it's really, really cool. I think the story started in 2014. Um, during then, we were on the lookout for to invest in a, what we call community investment project. And we wanted it to be in the area of sustainable development as well as the environment. Now, you know, in SamCorp, sustainability is our business and we provide sustainable solutions for our customers. When um, MPAX came, you know, to share this opportunity yeah. with us, mm. we were very excited because the Cool House project would help around orchid conservation yes. works. Um, but, you know, it was also accessible to all Singaporeans and yes. everyone in Singapore. So we felt that it was a great marriage of these two. And uh, here we are today. Yes. So how does this cool house promote sustainability and reduce our carbon footprint? Well, the cool house promotes sustainability in three ways. Reduce, reuse and renewables. Tell me more about renewable. What does it mean? Reduce is renewable. to reduce the energy consumption. Mm -hmm. Reuse is actually reusing the old structure uh, so that you don't use new materials for the structure. And renewables, you will see later, is we've got solar. It's really stunning. Can I, can I go for a tour, please? Sure, my pleasure. <laughs> Follow me. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look at the cock. It's so beautiful, huh? Yeah. Oh. So tell me, are there any special features in this cool house? Actually, we're standing on it. What do you mean? Concrete slabs over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're actually a series of chilled pipes running chilled water. So the bottom third of the cool house is maintained at about 16 to 24 degrees. You're trying to say that the floor is actually cold. Yes. Really, can I touch? Oh, please. Okay. Oh, oh, so nice and this cool. Is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, can we sit here and chill and have a glass of wine? That would be great. <laughs> I can feel that the temperature over here, it just feels warmer. Yes. It's really nice. Yes, and in fact, as you're walking up, you see the grates on the floor. They actually help also uh, encourage the, the airflow and air circulation in this mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. um, and also, the misters are embedded on the rock walls, yes. where, you know, at certain intervals, it will come and it will continue to cool the space. Actually, where we're here now, 
is the old structure of the old cool house. Right. Right. So, so in, in just this space, you can imagine the old structure, literally the entrance was there. So what we've done is, is the reuse part that I mentioned, where we had reused the old structure so that we didn't have to waste uh, the frame that's already here. Right. Um, and we also save on using new construction materials. The only thing that we did was to replace the glass. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you look over there, you see uh, the panels with, with that uh, rod oh, there. Yeah. Now, those are the panels that will open and allow the hot air out. Auto. Whoa. Yes. Okay. Automated. Oh, nice. Yes. Wow. Whoa. That's really, really cool. Okay, so you can see we're going higher in the cool house. You can feel a bit more of the warmth. Yes. You can yeah. feel a lot of the sun. And, and actually, if you look at uh, the glass panels, um, they are yet the other sustainability feature of this cool house. Um, the glass used is what we call the low emissivity glass. Um, and what it does is it allows as much light in as possible because the plant needed to grow and it also lights the space up beautifully, but it keeps the heat out. It mm. keeps about 60% of the heat out and wow. that's important in trying to reduce the energy we need to, to cool the cool house. Actually, the last sustainability feature is actually the solar panels uh, over that side. You will see uh, what are little small squares of solar panels. Ah, right, so mm. these are solar panels that have been built into, uh, integrated into that area together with the solar panels that will be built on other buildings nearby that's not open to the public. They will help offset 30% of the cool house energy needs. Oh, yes. wow. and, and, and that's equivalent to uh, 80 tonnes of carbon emissions per year. Thank you so much for showing us around. You guys are truly a role model for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much for hosting us. And in fact, I, I've learned so much. And I think this is really a wonderful idea that I think Singapore should consider replicating across the whole island. Dr. Victor, what do you think of the Sam Cup Cool House? Well, I think this is a really cool idea. I think the design and technology used in the Sam Cup Pool House can have the potential to be used in future industrial and commercial projects. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Now, speaking of design, there is a fashionista who is going to teach us how to practice sustainability and look good at the same time. I'm going to meet her now. So thank you so much for your time and we'll see you very soon. Jasmine was once a shopaholic. Being part of the fashion industry, going through tons of clothes was just a natural part of her lifestyle. But it added to environmental waste. Then something happened that completely changed her life. Let's go meet Jasmine and find out more. Hello. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. No, thanks for having me. Okay, welcome in. I'm just about to make my own toothpaste, actually. I run out. Oh, you make your own toothpaste? Yeah. I just made my own with three basic ingredients. Baking soda, coconut oil, which you can refill from a package-free store, and essential oil such as teeth mm. or peppermint. What did you decide to use make your own toothpaste? I don't want to throw another tube. Plastic. Another tube. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is just one sure way. And coconut oil uh, have a whitening effect also. And it's so simple. It's zero waste, right? Yes. Yeah. I want to learn more about you actually. Can oh. we go to the living room? Sure. Let's have a chat. Sure. Let's go. Oh, you've got a very nice hall. Thank, thank you. Yeah. It's lovely. Everything is like pre-loved and adopted and secondhand. Yeah. Really? Yes. When was the last time you bought something new? 20 years ago, furniture-wise, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Furniture-wise, you don't scare me like that. I'm really, like everything, like you have stopped shopping altogether. Yeah. I'm, I'm really amazed, to be honest with you, Jess. Um, you used to be in the fashion industry. That's right. But your life completely changed, yes. right? Yes. What happened? How did you go into this sustainable lifestyle? And it's very drastic. So I was in Zook for working in Zook for nine years. Of course, in the media industry, we always needed to have something different and yeah. wear different clothes. So I can never. I used to have this thought like I can never wear the same clothes twi twice. When I look at my walk-in wardrobe, I felt like I have nothing to wear. Every time. Yes, that's I'm a girl's sure you problem. Feel, I that's know, a right? woman's problem. You know what I mean. I think when you have too much choices, also, you ended up not having any choice. Uh, they call it what? The decision fatigue? Yes. Yeah, so then that's what happened to me. But funny thing, when I travel with just one luggage full, 
I always have a lot of clothes to wear. Maybe because, you know, you always bring your favourite pieces with you when you travel and then you kind of mix and match and try to be creative when you're overseas. So that's when I realised, hey, something is a bit off with the equation. Wardrobe full of clothes, nothing to wear. One luggage full, a lot of things to wear. Yeah. <laughs> so this is also when I realised the saying, less is more. Yes. Yeah, so it's really less is more. When I have less, I'm actually more creative. So how has your change of lifestyle helped you to reduce your carbon footprint? Yeah, I think as an ex-shopaholic versus now buying nothing new, yeah, I think my carbon footprint is negative. No, wow, <laughs> negative. Yeah, I used to buy everything. You said you downsized your wardrobe. How small is your wardrobe now? <laughs> <laughs> so from a walk-in wardrobe, which is a room full, to one single rack. And I also have an aim to fit all my belongings and my essential into a 7kg duffel bag. The 7kg, but you're talking about including your other yeah. belongings? Yeah, I try to, yeah. I aim, I strive to fit my life into a 7kg duffel bag. Yeah. Wow, that's very, very ambitious. <laughs> at least for me, it, it sounds very ambitious. Okay, I would love to take a look at your rack on wardrobe. Sure, let me yeah. show you. Yeah, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is my wardrobe now. <laughs> wow, when you said it's just one rack of clothing, it's truly just one rack of clothing, That's nothing true. more. <laughs> yeah. How did you do it? I am speechless. So how do you advocate for this zero waste lifestyle in terms of fashion? For me, as an ex-shopaholic, I just stop shopping because I know I buy too much. And uh, once I stop, I just reduce from there. So refuse and then reduce. I heard you create your own bag using used clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super easy. I can can you teach you. me how? Of course, I okay. can. All we need to do is to lay it, uh, align it. The next step is you have to cut a 10 cm long strips like that. So you just have to take the top from here to tie with the bottom, okay. alternatively. Mm -hmm. Top and bottom. So top and bottom, you just tie a knot. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> I think no more holes, I think no more. 10 points. <laughs> you can start to use them now. Oh, so cute! <laughs> And you can choose which handle to carry. So cute! <laughs> oh, this is perfect! Yeah! This is so awesome. It was really nice meeting you though. Likewise. Yeah. Taking a tour around the Sam Cobb Cool House was an eye-opener for me. They have taught me what it truly means to be agents of transformation. Now, Jasmine's zero-waste lifestyle, on the other hand, has taught me that it is possible to reduce our carbon footprint without having to give up on the things we love or need. Now, why don't you show me how you're reducing your carbon footprint at home? Perhaps you have already switched to LED light bulbs, or you're buying more local produce, or maybe some of you have completely cut out single-use disposables. Do upload and share these very creative pictures and videos of yours and hashtag Green Home Challenge. Over the past few weeks, we have brought you on an exciting journey on the transformation of Singapore into a global city of sustainability. Through the lens of many inspiring individuals, community groups, and corporate companies, we have learned how we can all play our part in the Singapore Green Plan 2030. Let's continue our journey together in tackling climate change. I'm Belinda Lee, and this has been Green Home. You have to turn into a bag. Oh, you're still wearing it. It's okay, I'll just, I'll just take it off for you. No, I don't want <laughs> Can we sit here and chill and have a glass of wine? That would be great. <laughs>